Now, managing hunger and understanding appetite during this type, this phase, or the leading up to being autonomous on your own, is slightly different than when you're dieting. Like when dieting, it's all about voluminous foods and making sure that you spend time on your meals and making sure that you you get them in at adequate timings. And whilst that's great, that's for a specific purpose. We're looking at something that will last you the next 30, 40 years of your life. And this could be more difficult than just, you know, hitting volume of foods and uh, making sure that you chew food over a period of time. You know, you're not going to want to completely track every single thing. It'll become massively overwhelming. You're not going to want to um, have a specific portioned plate at every single meal or understand um, how many calories are in that specific thing or all of this type of stuff. It'll be quite overwhelming for a long period of time and for, for the next 20, 30 years of your life. What you need to do is something that will, will have been lost in that whole pursuit of dieting and yo-yo dieting and you know never really having a, a specific intake to maintenance and always either going super high in surpluses or having really high amounts of calories uh, and then you know having low calories and being on a super restrictive diet. You have an appetite, you have, an, you have hunger levels that you can be regulative of every single day. Generally, once out of a dieting phase and into more of a, you've held your body weight, maintenance, calories, you'll have a, a, a hunger, hunger level that represents your body fat levels and uh, your level of uh, leanness and some hormonal profiling as well. So if you're leaner, you're more than likely going to be more hungry because your body is not used to being leaner. Whereas if you um, have excess of body fat, you won't be as hungry as you would be if you were leaner. The body regulates that. Leptin and ghrelin, they're called. Appetite hormones. You will be responsible for w working towards them on, and understanding them and being in tune with them every single day. This will regulate how much food you take in terms of your portions. This will regulate how much you will uh, eat when you go to a social event. This will regulate how much you have for breakfast or whether you leave food on a plate or you ask for seconds. And this is much more difficult because you have to understand the role of things like sleep. You have to understand the role of things like stress. You have to understand the role of environment within your process. If someone is pushing a second plate on you, but you're full within yourself, you are going to have to learn to say no. Because then you're not eating for you, you're eating for someone else. And that then takes away the whole premise of you being autonomous. Because autonomy is about you having complete control over yourself and your direction, your actions and what you do. If you eat for someone else, that takes away autonomy. And the same as if you're hungry or you have, like, let's say if your sleep was really, really poor, you know that those hunger signals are going to be more. You're going to probably have more cravings and more hunger. But you need to be able to regulate those and have that autonomy to know and that control to know that, OK, my sleep was poor last night. I'm probably going to feel a little bit more hungry today. So then you regulate your meals. You eat slower. You see if it really is more hunger or it's just that sleep that's, that's messing up your, your signaling. And you stick to the same way that you've been eating with your, your knife and fork going down every single time and you're chewing uh, as many times as you can uh, of each bite. And then you regulate it that way. But this can almost be as hard as or even harder than dieting because the, the freedom is yours, but also the self-discipline is yours. You're going to have to say no to yourself. And if you've had a coach and you've done the dieting phase and you've done the maintenance phase, You've been accountable to someone else and you've been, um, you know, willing to take some direction from someone else. But in this phase, when you're leading towards autonomy and you, you're gaining that autonomy, you have to have that self-discipline of yourself to, to connect this and saying I'm full, then saying I'm full through here and through here and then not having more just because you can or having more just because it's on the table. Or, or, or having more because someone said have more. You have to always think, 
what what is the autonomy what what is what do i have control of and is it an external factor that's influencing me is it because it's on the table or is it because it's another person or what is my internal sides telling me to do if they're telling me i'm hungry and i've done all of the principles that i would eat a normal meal with have more food your body wants it but if you're full on the inside and you're truly utilize those steps your goal is the self-discipline side of things to say no so this hunger can be uh, something that will often let people down because they don't get in tune with it and they don't regulate it to what the insides are saying as opposed to what their eyes are bigger than their belly was, is saying. So it's something to think about that you have to start managing that in tune nature of when you're full from an inside or when your eyes want more food.